Hey everyone, it's Kurt with BlueRucksack.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the domain name of your WordPress website. Uh, this is specifically for those people using SiteGround hosting as I'll be using an app that they include in their cPanel. Uh, this is probably best for smaller sites. You want to make sure that you have enough room on your hosting account um, because you will be duplicating your site files and your databases. Um, just a note of caution, do not delete your old site files and database until you are 100% sure that your site has copied and everything is operating. So the steps included in this video are backing up the existing domain then we're going to go ahead and clone your existing site to your new domain and then we'll reset username and password on WordPress and we'll create 301 redirects. Now if you don't already have a domain name that you'd like to use consider going to Namecheap. I have a link for a special offer here. The link is bluerucksack.com slash Namecheap and also if you're looking to change to SiteGround hosting um, and do not already have hosting. I also have a link for a special offer down here for SiteGround. Uh, the link is bluerucksack.com slash SiteGround. Go ahead and use those if you need any services. They're great companies, great products. So now that we have everything, let's get started. To get started, go ahead and log into your SiteGround hosting account. Click on My Accounts and then open up the cPanel. Here I am in cPanel. Scroll down to where you see the WordPress auto installer. Scroll down and find your existing site. I'll be using this one. I want to go ahead and make a backup. And you can make a note here. Domain change ahead and start the backup. It should just take a couple of seconds depending on the size of your site. All right my backup is complete. Return to overview. Here we are back in the WordPress auto installer. Scroll down find our site that we would like to change the domain and you click on clone and this is similar to how you set up a new WordPress site using this app so you may be familiar with it. Come in here and <clears throat> select the new domain name, homesitermaking.com. Okay. And scroll down and clone your installation. This is going to make a copy of the existing website and set it up on this domain name. Once that is complete, you can log into your new. Uh, WordPress using the new domain. You can see here it says homesitermaking.com. This is the dashboard. It's identical to the site that you cloned. What I like to do at this point is to go in and change uh, username. This is my old username, old email. Just so I can remember my usernames, I like to create new ones. You can leave it the same if you would like. And I add new user. Next, let's uh, come up to the top of the dashboard here and go ahead and visit the site. We want to make sure that everything is working properly. Uh, if you've been to this site before, you can see that this is a, a direct clone. Um, it's a new site that I'm working on, so it's nothing fancy at this point. But you just want to make sure that everything's working, your images are showing up, your links are there. Um, just double check everything. All right, next, go back to your cPanel, and at the top of your cPanel, you'll see redirects under domains. Go ahead and click on redirects. We want to create a permanent 301 redirect for your old site pointing to your new site. This is so if anybody 
enters your old domain, they're sent to the new domain, to the new site. And it'll also preserve your SEO rankings and uh, also preserve any of your links that you may have on other sites. So to do this, go ahead and select your old domain and we will enter in our new domain. Okay, so this top line is our old domain. So this will be pointing or redirecting to our new domain. You want to redirect with or without the www dot and then go ahead and select add. Now all of your traffic that was going to your old site is now going to your new site. And that's all there is to changing the name of your WordPress site on SiteGround. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos about WordPress hosting and digital marketing. Thank you.